If you're a surfer, you may have a certain eye condition that you may not be aware of. Jamie Chambers, who is a surfer, had this condition, and he underwent a new procedure to try to correct the problem. And this is his story. There's no doubt in my mind that surfing is the best sport in the world, but everything has its drawbacks. And if you've seen as many sunsets as I have, you might have gotten one as well. It's called a trigium. It's a growth on your eye caused by overexposure to sun. Some call it surfer eye. Doctors in the past told patients to leave them alone because they grow back almost 50% of the time. But with a new procedure out that claims great results with a grow back rate of less than 5%, I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm all ready for surgery, got my short sleeve shirt on so they can get an IV in. I've also fasted for six hours, no water right before the surgery, and you gotta put the eye drops in, antibiotics. Sort of stings, but it's not that bad. As I get prepped for surgery, the doc tells me about the procedure. We cover the area where we've removed the growth with a small piece of normal tissue that's paper thin that comes from the same eyeball, but we borrow it from underneath the upper eyelid. Feeling a little squeamish after the IV, I wanted to know, why am I doing this again? If you don't have surgery for a pterygium, the problem is it can continue to grow. And if it continues to grow into the seeing part of the cornea, the front of the eye, it can affect your vision. They give you a shot of sodium pentothal, also known as truth serum, and you drift away. When you wake up on the table, the doctor is talking and joking with you while he removes the growth. Then it's all over. It takes about 20 minutes. Well, I have to say that it was almost fun with the anesthesia. It took me about three days to recover from the surgery, and the redness went away after about a month. And this is what the final results look like. From the Harvard Eye Associates office in San Clemente, Jamie Chambers, KTLA News.